So dear parents and students, welcome back to another video on Test Track Path channel. I believe all of you are doing great and staying safe. So what we'll discuss in today's video. In today's video, we will discuss about DESA Counseling Process 2021, a complete information about this counseling process, which is why this counseling process came into picture, all about DESA, how you can just book the seats, right, which is the seat allotment process, along with important dates. Everything will be captured in this video, just a small request. Please don't put your phone down. Keep watching this video till the end because this video will really help you out. Let's start this video. Now, before starting this video, let me tell you the topics that we are going to cover in this video. We are going to discuss DESA highlights first. Then we will move on and discuss about the basic eligibility criteria for this DESA counseling process. That what are the basic conditions that you have to meet to go through this process. Post that will discuss about DESA undergraduate application form 2021 and then the seat allotment process which is a key part here and lastly we will discuss about the important dates. And again after this point of time you still have any doubts you can ask in the comment section below. So let's start. Let's start with discussing about the DESA highlights. So DESA which is direct admission of students abroad. This is a counseling process by which foreign nationals can take admission in the Indian colleges. Well. For this year fall, which is 2021, this entire process is being coordinated by NIT Jaipur, which is popularly known as MNIT Jaipur, Malvinagar National Institute of Technology, Jaipur. So for students who are seeking admission in this four year courses need to pass on through this DESA counseling process in the colleges like NIT, Triple ITs, SPAs and centrally funded institutes. The admission is solely based on your GE marks, GE scorecard. Initially, it used to be considering the scores of SAT, but from this year onwards, they take J main score. The process is online, the entire application process is online, and you can visit the site which is www.desa.nit.org to have more information about this DESA counseling process, all right, and even for the DESA. Now let's move on and discuss about the eligibility criteria. So eligibility criteria plays a very important role. So I'm just taking the verticals one by one. Let's start with the age parameter. That what should be your age if you are considering this process? Well, as this guideline says that candidates born on or before October 1, 1996 are eligible to apply, which means that your date of birth should be on or after October 1, 1996. If suppose my date of birth is October 1, 1995, then I am not eligible to apply through this process. And this date of birth is considered from your class 10th or your class 12th scorecard, right? In India, this is class 10th scorecard that we consider normally for the date of birth proof. Now, let's discuss about the residential requirements. So, residential requirements simply means that either you are foreign nationals or foreign student or Indian student. Well, the process is very clear. It says that all foreign nationals studying in any country, which means even in India, including India, or Indian nationals studying abroad will be eligible to apply provided they fulfill prescribed admission criteria. So what is that prescribed admission criteria? Well, it says that prescribed admission criteria for Indian national is at least two years, which means minimum of two years, that is including your class 11th and 12th. So class 11th and 12th and equivalent to or beyond in a foreign country during the last eight years. So during the tenure of last eight years, your two years, which is class 11 and 12, must be from the foreign country. And you must have passed that qualifying examination. Qualifying examination means your class 12 scorecard, essentially. Or if you are just doing some diploma courses after class 12, then that is also valid. But you must have to pass that. Right. The qualification marks is very clear. This is like 60% of or above criteria, which is set by this rule. Now, that depends upon different colleges. Like if you're targeting NIT, list of NITs, then of course, the score or the cutoff is higher. If you're targeting triple ITs, SPS, then that is subjective. That depends upon colleges to colleges. The general criteria is 60% or above. And then your GE makes G main scorecard or GE means rank, right? So you should have a valid GE means scorecard or GE means rank. So this is the basic eligibility criteria. Now let's discuss about the application process thing that how you can apply through this DESA counseling process. Well, it's a two step process. The first step is online application. You just need to fill the online application. And the second one is submission of G main scorecard or whatever you have ranked that you have got, right? So simply you just need to fill the application form. Application form is not a very rocket science thing. This is a very simple. You just need to visit the site. You just need to register yourself. 
So DESA undergraduate registration process, you just need to visit the site, which is DESA ORG, as I just told. And then you just need to register by entering the following details like your uh, valid email ID, username so that it will generate a username, some CAPTCHA thing, create your ID, then email will be sent for the confirmation and then you just need to upload few documentation which is class 10, 12 marks and then some other documentation. So for this you just visit the site, you will have list of documentation in front of you so that you keep them ready. So this is step number one or stage one. Post that the second step or stage number two is submission of your GE mains scorecard. So, and that is actually compiling this entire process. So once the account has been created, candidates will have to log into their login accounts using their email ID and the passwords which has been provided. After logging in, candidates will be able to enter any number of choices of institutes and courses because then you'll have choices. And that is the seat allotment process that comes into picture that we'll discuss in the coming slide. Then you have to upload all the scanned copies of relevant documents in here. All right. So this is about this DESA UG application process application form, which is 2021. Now how the seat application process, seat allotment process takes into picture. So in the case of previous uh, like G means counseling process and in the other counseling process, you have options, a set of three, four options. These are accept the offer because once you everything is done, once the DESA counseling process start mapping your scorecard or your rank, then your class 10, 12 marks and then your choices, they map entire thing and then, then give you option accept or like three options right here, which is accept, accept or upgrade or decline. So let's discuss about each of this, this three in one by one. Let's discuss with accept. So what is accept? So it says that candidates who will accept the seat allotted to them will just download and print out and you'll get the provisional admission offer. That's it. You just accept the offer, right? The second one is you accept and upgrade. You accept it, but you are upgrade, which means that there will be no seats that will be given to you in that particular college. And then you are just eligible for the further rounds of DESA process, which means that there are normally three rounds happens. Round one, round two, round three. So after round three, there are a spot round. So in short, people say there are four rounds of DESA, but actually there are three rounds of DESA, round one, round two, round three, round four is just the spot round in which you just need to fill the, in, I mean, vacant seats at all, right? So this is about accept and upgrade. And the third one is decline. You simply decline that offer that you don't wish to, you know, participate in any of these processes. So this is about the declining, which means that you can re-register in the fourth process, which is the spot round, okay? So this is about this seat allotment process. And finally, on basis of your choices, on basis of your responses, you will get admission. So this is all about this seat allotment process. Now let's discuss about the other aspects of DESA counseling. But before we move forward and discuss the other aspects, let me announce a very important part here. Now this is for the DESA and CIWG. So for the NRI students who are preparing for this DESA, who are preparing under this DESA counseling process or CIWG counseling process, this activities. So we have prepared a separate NRI ebooks. So, so through that you can prepare accordingly. All right. So this is about this day science CIWG. You, you must be finding the link somewhere in this video at the bottom below. All right. So just visit, go through it. You'll have much idea. All right. Now let's discuss about the last part, which is the important dates that what are the important dates of this, uh, DESA counseling process, which is 2021. Well, the releasing of application form has already been started. This has started in September 18th. And what is the last date of application form fill up? Of course, this process is entirely online. So the last date is 6th October. So you can visit the site. You can fill the application form till 6th October. Then when they will de declare this DESA ranking after declaration of this DESA ranking and then the fee payment part, then you will give in the choices like accept, accept, and then like upgrade or decline. So the DESA rank declaration will happen on just day after the final submission of this application form, which is 7th October. So this process will just say you that this is the rank on 7th October, the entire day. Then you just need to just do the fees payment part or choice filling and final submission. So you will have the window and that window is from 8th October to 31st October. So at this point of time, I'll suggest you a few things that from 8th October to 31st October, research on all the colleges, right? Research on the cutoff thing also, because you have the data, right? You can just easily access that data, resources that you have. 
post that you set your criteria like NIT Jamshedpur in the first choice or let's say NIT Manet Bhopal in the second choice right so just research do your researching so utilize this window time that's I want to say post that when, when is the first round of seat allotment so this will happen on 10th November just after 10-15 days they usually release this first round of seat allotment if by chance you have not made in the first round that's not a problem you just have to well, well that the process is like goes on it will give you a few days on which you just need to accept or reject or decline anything so this gives you two days 11th november and 12th november this is the dates that they have given well this is just a tentative date let me tell you in and out this will be falling in these dates only like one or two days before or after it will happen post that there is a second round so again you do your research your research will always goes on and then on 14th november you just do the second round of seat allotment then confirmation by candidates then whose students has been allotted seats on second round so this is on 14th and 15th november again if by not chance you haven't made that's not a problem there is one more round for you which is round three so in the round three which happens on 16th november you will be given a day time so again you just fill it do your research work and they will confirm that all those students who have been allotted seats in the round three by 7th november 17th november in between 10 am to 6 pm this is the time that they have given and post that because all the three rounds are done then the students who has been already selected let's say if you have made in round three or round two or round one then you need to report to the allotted institutes uh, in the following rounds which is round one round two and round three and there is a window which is 18 november to 22 november so normally students book their tickets accordingly right the flight tickets or if you're indian and like if you are just came to india like few days ago like in that this process started before then you can book the tickets accordingly right so that you just need to report in the institutes and this time only 18 to 22 now there will be cases that if by chance if you have not uh, like made it to visiting the colleges in this point of time then there are applications you can just fill under that comes under special case then there is internal sliding internal sliding and then there is announcement of vacancy matrix for special round this happens on 24th november okay and then there is a choice filling for special round which is call the special round process or you can say that is a spot round in which the, all the vacant seats will be occupied and this will take like a weekday time which is 25th november to 2nd december and this all the seats will be like uh, filled and then the, all the students who came under round four process or who just allotted seats under this spot round and then they just need to report to the institutes and that window is 3rd december to 6th december so this is the process this is the entire beautiful process that desa has defined desa counseling process has defined i hope now there is no confusion at all so this is all about this entire video i hope you enjoyed again if you have any doubts any questions you can ask in the comment section below so this is all about this video i see you in the next video thank you